Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's explore some vintage products that are too strange to believe. Speaking of products, congratulations, Gina. Gina. You get a $30 mythical gift card for repping that merch out in the wild with hashtag merchicality. Gina got that double E in her name there. Yeah, She's she hogging does. the fowls. Gina. Hey, there's enough fowls to go around. I like that. Listen to more Merle shirt. Listen to Chatting. more Merle. Listen to more Merle. Uh, okay. Remember when we would find Merle that we hadn't heard before, yeah. and we had. I mean, we were like the '90s versions of crate diggers, but it was like it was because you had cassette tape diggers. We didn't dig that hard. Uh, everywhere, everywhere I went, I there looked. Could have been I a looked reality for some show Merle tapes. Us. It's like every uh, yeah. We, <laughs> and when I would when I would come home with a tape that we didn't have, I would call you immediately. Oh yeah. The thing is, there's a little bit of a law of diminishing returns. Yeah. The deeper you go into some, and you start finding out the reason that, oh, there's a reason I don't know about this one. Yeah. You know, not to, you know, disparage Merle, but you know, every single song wasn't perfect. But there's, but there were some gems in there. Yeah. Like Colorado, remember when we, I remember when I found that one. Okay, anyway, yeah. that's not what we're You guys wanna about. hear about some crazy vintage products that could or could not be real? Most deaf. Okay. So you're gonna have to guess if this is a lie or not. But the first thing we're gonna talk about is called the Vibra Finger. Okay, we will. This was a dentist recommended gum massager from the 1950s. It was a rubber finger attached to a small device you plug into the wall, and once turned on, it vibrated, kind of like an electric toothbrush. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I was only so you're it was to massage your gums with it. For, yeah, like only it was designed babies. to stimulate gum tissue. Uh, yes, yes, yes. For right. babies, right? Because if you're no, if you're for, doing for this, adults, if you're doing this for a long time, you're like, man, I need something to plug in because I just can't keep this up rubbing gums. But you can give like soothing things to babies' gums when these they're... are not babies. For babies, it's to, it's for adults, you know, because like that's a part of what flossing is and gum massagers. I'm I'm gonna say this is heck yes. This I mean, is it real. feels like it would be real the way you're describing it. I did give it a little bit too much passion there at the end. It's real. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Look at vibra. Oh, finger. and it's shaped like a finger. This is a winner. Bring this back. There's, you uh, know what? It has been brought back, Link. There's nothing many, like this. Many, many times. There's nothing like this. I can take you to some places on the internet where the, we can get all kinds of things. It's sanitary. It fits in your hand. It increases circulation. It's cleansing. It makes a different and useful gift. It is different. <laughs> it is, it's, I don't, where does it say that? Down in that little box. Well, I believe you. <laughs> Look at that oh. dentist's face. Like staring into his eyes when you're using that thing in your mouth. All right. Okay. That's, that's just quieting. Up next, we've got the toe stretcher from the 1950s. These are little toe ring-like things you'd slip on your toes with rope attached that you'd tie to your bedposts at night. The goal was to keep yourself in a stretched position to stretch your body a couple of inches or so. Oh, like this? Yeah. So it would make you taller? Fake, man. Well, I mean, I don't know if it actually would make you taller, but I do believe that's the claim. But it's supposed to make babies taller? It's just for babies, right? Yeah, just babies. Like them short babies gotta be made taller. Hmm. I think this is fake. They do have, uh, they, at least they have like surgeries that they can do to make you taller. How what? How what? Like, like uh, put more bone in the femur? Uh, yeah, it's a, there's a leg extension surgery. Uh, this is, um, this is fake. Yeah, it's fake. Oh, wow. It made that one toe really long. But Zach made the ad. Toe stretchers. Good God. Wow, Zach. This, this looks so, really cool. I didn't... I mean, not that I didn't assume that it was going to look really you, cool. You all out for that, man. That, that This should go on a t-shirt. Well, not maybe a poster. Maybe a... It'd maybe be a the cool back t-shirt. Of a, the back of a magazine. Toe stretchers. So... I, so it makes the toe longer. It doesn't make you taller. Well, I think that may, maybe between Zach, you the, didn't read the. I think copy. maybe Zach got his wires crossed a little bit. But you know what? He ended up making a better thing than I would have expected. My 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 family makes fun of how long my toes are. 
and you can't tell from this angle. It's really you really need to do it from this angle, I guess. But like, this my toes toe, are so long. They're finger toe. toes. You, like, I have longer toes than you do, Link. All right, you want to yeah, measure? You, you want to measure them? We'll do it off camera. I think I got some pretty long toes. Let's get let's let's get let's Stevie. Get the, you uh, think you got a longer second toe than me? Yeah. It's I yeah I I, I have very I, long. Toes. I have seen it and it is long, but it's long it's long proportionate to your foot. But if it were yeah. on my foot, well, now I'm curious now. Did you you've already put your shoes back on? I had because I was cold. Yeah. So, oh my gosh, that's pretty long. It's got a it's got a permanent crink in it. Again, from that angle. You have to really turn it around. Turn it around? Can you turn it around? I think yours is, yeah, yours is longer than mine. Well, your foot, I mean, again, it's relative. Yours is also so very bulbous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can actually. Uh, Why like, is it all so wrinkly on I'm the a tr bottom? I'm a tree frog. I can grab on to, uh, I can grab on to uh, trees. <laughs> your foot looks waterlogged, dude. Is that from the from the toe bounce? Yeah, I, I toe bounce so hard that it wrinkled my foot. My foot's been like that since I was a baby. Wrinkle foot. I think it has something to do with my arch. Yeah, mine's. I have a flat foot and a smooth, a smooth bottomed flat foot. Let's move on. Next, we've got the Slinky Satellite Beanie. This fun product was also from the 1950s. It was essentially a helmet with a slinky built into the top that bobbled around when you moved your head. It was more of a toy for ch children. Oh, so this one is for babies. Children. For yeah. babies. And it walks down the stairs, uh, when you, but you're not so recommended just, when your head is I, A hat with a slinky on top of it. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that should be a thing and would that's, have been a thing. That's stupid, but I think it's real. That's a lot of fun. That's yeah, it's real. Oh, look at that. Oh, the slinky is. Mm -hmm. That kid puts his bow tie on to play. That's a little weird. <laughs> All right, Junior, go get dressed up and go play with your slinky hat. That's, That's how it was back in the day. You know what I'm saying? You had to get dressed up to get on a plane. You had to get dressed up to go play. Yeah, yeah. Dollar twenty nine. Nobody ain't... dresses up. Do you think when all Still this is way. over, yeah. people are going to be much more casual? Uh, are, are people going to be like people have gotten so used to like the sweats ratio in their like closet has gone yeah. way up? Yeah, it's hard. Do it's you think gonna that's going to be, be it's going to be carried over, or do you think people yeah. will be like, "Wow, I get to put my suit on and my tie, and I'm so happy now"? Uh, I think that I think there'll be two types of people. Yeah, I think there'll be the people who never go back. Are you ready to dress up? I think is the question I'm asking. Uh, no, I think it's become more difficult for some reason. Like I'm, I'm perplexed when I look at my closet in the morning if I have to go anywhere. Yeah. Because I've been doing like a Steve Jobs situation where I just wear like a black T-shirt of some kind every day. Yeah, right. Yeah. And you realize, you realize, wow, there's something to this Dennis the Menace situation. I thought when you said uh, that you've been doing a Steve Jobs thing, you were saying you've been sort of, sort of mean and direct lately to me. Well, yeah. It's kind of short too. with me, and your expectations are too high. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That too. But you've got a lot of good ideas. Speaking of expectations. But your relationship with your daughter is really on the rocks. You, All of may, that tracks. May he rest in peace. And Speaking if we're of talking expectations about my cat. being too high, uh, if you expect that this mug is going to change when you pour hot water into it and reveal an amazingly dynamic, oh, yours is hot. Yeah, look, it's been revealed, dude. Then uh, those expectations will be met by this mug. Mythical.com, cold water, does this. Hot liquids, do that. Magically changes the same mug into that. Mythical.com, I'm just telling. Mythical.com. Mythical.com. I want to see more of Zach's handiwork. Can you How show about me a fake one? This solar bath apparatus from the 1930s. It enclosed your head in a metal drum and beamed it with ultraviolet rays. The solar bath apparatus was meant to cure head-related illnesses and clear out mucus buildup in the ears, nose, and throat. This doesn't make any sense on any level. That doesn't mean it's not real, but it sounds fake. Your, your head gets hot, and it makes your nose run. That's what I'm hearing. But I hope it's fake, because I want to see uh, a Zach rendering. It's real. 
Oh, oh gosh. Whoa. That's a, quite a Halloween costume. Gee, the visibility seems to be compromised. Well, well, that wire is... I don't <laughs> think you have to walk with it. Going it says, walk. no, the peculiar looking device in the photo at left is not a camera. <laughs> Because that looks like a camera. <laughs> I guess it looked like a camera at the time. That's how you oh. stuck your head yeah, in. Yeah, actually, yeah, cameras did look like that. Or they nor, were, they were nor big, even a big telescope. Big boxes. Okay. Yeah, that, that doesn't look good, even if you're in your, like, um, your ceremonial robes of some sort. I don't know. The main purpose of this device is to cure sickness of the head, like catarrh of the nose and throat. Or of the ears. Qatar with an H. Katara. Katara. C A T A R R H. Let's see the next one. That's disturbing. Next, we've got the dog de shredder. De shredder. Okay. <laughs> Put your dog back together if you've I accidentally, accidentally shredded. shredded my dog. But don't worry, I've got the de shredder. It's going to come back a different breed, but uh, he'll come back. <laughs> How does it work? This is a contraption. Was supposed to be the chemical free way of de shedding a very fluffy dog in the 1960s. It was a dog cage with large cone like drying missiles. Missiles. Protruding out of the cage, pointed at the dog. You merely plugged it into an electrical outlet, turned it on, and it would blast all the loose fur off your furry companion. Uh, the fact We're that there due was for a, a fake. Yeah, we're due for a fake, but the thing that seems she real, said, though. missiles, like, seems real. that sounds like it's something from the 60s, those missiles that blow fur off. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going with heck yes I think it's well. an air cone. It's fake. Oh. Oh, m missiles, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that... Looking good, pooch. Dang. That's that's fun what you did, Zach, but it, it's not what I pictured. Okay. Dog Dang, shredder. A, that is a missile. Literally, he... Took a missile. Yeah, right. Okay. Dog doesn't seem upset. Nope. Or happy. All right, let's see what else we got. This next product is called the Ele Electroshock Exercise Machine. This was an old-fashioned circular treadmill from the late 1800s that had to be operated by another person <laughs> using a hand crank. Hmm. The metal bar that you held onto would give you a quick jolt of electricity a high enough voltage that shocked you into continuous movement. Oh, okay. No, that would shock you into never using it again. Who got a better workout, the person on it or the person running it? <laughs> a lot of stupid um, exercise devices that involve like, yeah, like elec it. electricity and stuff. Yeah, you know? I, I like this idea. Uh, I yeah, see I, th it. I think this is real. Fake. Oh. Wow. But Zach, you did oh, it. Oh, wow. Oh, it's, it's, it's a hamster wheel. Doctors advise against new exercise. <laughs> yeah, that's good. This Mitch looks Byline. so cool. Wow, it's, yeah, it's, it, that would be <laughs> difficult to ship. Son, get over here and uh, shock your daddy. You'd have to... Uh, <laughs> with a record player. <laughs> you'd have to assemble, <laughs> assemble that yourself. Is that, did you use a phonograph without the top part? Now, okay, hold on. Uh, not to take issue with this, but CV, what uh, time period did you say this was from? Oh, 1800s. Okay, so we got a lot, there's a lot of 1800s things, but oh. that fashion is distinctly. I did 1970s. not hear 1800s. <laughs> you, I mean, you definitely. I mean, if, they, if they, <laughs> I mean, those socks and that, those shorts. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. Unless he's also, unless this is also a time traveled machine. Time uh, traveled. This is. Um, this is not from the 1800s. Again, you got to listen to all the details, Zach. <laughs> More like finding 1800s kids sitting around on ice cream. Yeah, it's not going to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you didn't even have to do anything, but the fact that you did, now we're going to we're going to talk about it. Later. Right. We're going to we're going to shred it like a dog. <laughs> Just so you know. Do we have another? Next, we've got the kitty door. K I D D Y door. Advertised in the 40s, the kitty door was basically a doggy door, but specifically for young children who would return home from school before their parents did. This was a door with an opening only large enough to fit a young child, so they'd simply crawl through and be safe inside their home while they waited for their parents to return. You ever heard of a key? <laughs> I feel like 
Yeah, this is fakeness. I don't know. There's something about this that makes me think it maybe it happened. Fakeness. Fake. Uh, yes, Zach is back with the kitty door. Rest easy leaving the little ones alone. Ha, look at me. I came in through the kitty door. Yep, yep, yep. Now, what year was this supposed to take place? The, f the 40s. Okay, that's, okay, that's okay, a kid right. from the 40s. That kid is from the 40s. <laughs> He's definitely from the 40s. I think that the big door could be from the 40s, but that little door is definitely from the 1989 yeah, right, yeah, 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 range. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the font of the kitty door and the rest easy, leaving the little ones along, it feels, it do, feels a little 60s, 70s to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. Sorry, Zach. Okay, this is the last one. Uh, last but hope, certainly hope not Zach least is the stuffed girls' heads. Oh. Yes, you heard that right. Specifically made for excitement and conversation, these stuffed girl heads were exactly that. These were female heads, three fourths the size of a real female, available in brunette, blonde, or redhead. These were made Just of like skin female. textured plastic and for every man to boast of his conquests. So basically when you yeah. slept with a woman, Acqui when you, you, acquire you acquire some noggin. Head. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. First of all, it's a great idea. I mean, it's, first of all, this, this is we definitely need this in, in society. Today. I don't I, I think we're putting Zach in an awkward situation if we're asking him to Photoshop this, you know? So I, that's why I think this is real. Yeah, For no other reason, as we're not, we don't want to put Zach in that position to where he's having to make those choices about yeah, yeah. women's heads. Yeah, right, yeah. It's real. I'm trying to, I don't have a. Oh my God. Oh, a and, date oh my goodness. And they're on like a freaking, like, it's like a deer. Oh, this is, so this is like full misogyny. This doesn't even, this is unabashed. It says conquest underneath it. Whoa. Oh. So they had a bunch of women that looked like like you could get to the the closest to the woman that you had conquested. Oh gosh. What when, when did I'm this sorry. happen? I'm Zach, Zach, I'm not I'm, asking. I don't I can't read that fine print if that's I can read it. Uh but it doesn't say Yeah. The first realistic likeness man. of the exciting women who play an important part in every man's life. Yeah, the part where they just have sex with them and that's it. Saucy, <laughs> glittering eyes, full sensuous mouth, and liquid satin complexion combined with radiant hair colors give astonishing realism to these rare and unique trophies. Could you imagine going to someone's home and they, like, did someone really have these up in their home? As a, it's, a, it's a gag thing. It's a joke, but it's a it's a it's in completely poor taste, of course. So it's like, but yeah, there's people who would do it today. There's probably some modern day version of this. I don't even want to know what it is. So don't tell me in the comments. Let's, can we wipe that image from our mind by showing the toe stretcher to ourselves toe one stretcher. more time? There we go. Yeah. Good right. job, Zach. Talk about Look a that conquest. Big, that big toe is so long. It's only fourteen dollars. <laughs> You really peaked on that one. Now we can continue with our day. Add some scientific magic to your mythical mug collection with the GMM heat-activated mug. Available now at mythical.com.